All right, now we're gonna look at the sciatic nerve and we're gonna isolate it in the area in the back of the thigh. Now, depending on what kind of an issue a person has, we need to be able to think about uh, muscles at this point as well. And oftentimes people have hamstring issues that are affecting the knee. And the way they do that is if I straighten out over here and locate my patella, I get on either side of the patella and I put my finger in the middle there and point straight down. If I come down here, I look at the tibia. Now I am fairly close right here, but some people are way far out so that the entire tibia is externally rotated on the femur. When that happens, in order to isolate, I come across the midline and then I put a hand here and I can slide down until I feel where that's tightened up. And that's a really good area to feel. But if I look up, this now becomes a floss. And so this is, again, we're not holding, we're not stretching. We want to keep this in constant motion to make this a floss. Now, the other thing is some people like to do this really violently. You need to do this very slow. You don't want to be actually tugging too hard on the nerve. And if this is really easy for somebody, they can add, isolate more a tibia by bringing the toes to the nose to do this. Or if they want to isolate the peroneal portion of it, they can point and externally rotate a little bit and do that same kind of slide. So this way you can be very specific whether you've got a peroneal or a tibial problem here. So this is the easiest way I think to do uh, everything in the lower back of the calf and thigh and foot.